Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh my gosh, it has been such a long time. It's been way too long and I can only apologize. I feel like life recently has just been so busy. I've had so many different things going on. Then we had the heat wave and it was just a lot. Um, and to be honest, I felt a little bit like uninspired recently. I haven't really known what to film what you guys might want to see. Um, I don't know, I just had a bit of a writer's block, you know, and I just didn't really know what to do. Um, but I'm back now and I'm going to try and be consistent again because I was doing so well. Um, I was doing so well being consistent with my videos, but yeah, I think it's been like a month or something since my last one. So yeah, I'm really, really sorry to those of you who are like loyal subscribers and have like missed my videos. Yeah, I'm really sorry, but I have a really, really good video today and I'm so excited about it. So as you can tell from the title, today's video is basically gonna be a massive what I've been buying recently haul. Um, there isn't like a particular theme. Um, it's not just like one thing. It's not one particular brand. This is literally just stuff that I've been buying over the last, I'd say maybe two or three weeks. Um, and there's quite a variety of stuff. And I feel like I've bought really, gorgeous bits recently. As always, I will link everything that I talk about in today's video down below in the description box so that you can shop some of these bits for yourself. There are a few Primark bits in this haul that I won't be able to link, of course, um, but as far as I know, these things are all still available in Primark because I got them quite recently. So I'm not gonna do any sort of like rhyme or reason, any sort of order. I'm literally just gonna pick things up and show you guys what I bought and yeah so without further ado if you would like to see what i've been buying recently then please do keep watching okay so i think i'm going to start with the primark bits first i've got a few different bits from primark so i'm going to start with my favorite and the, I think this is like the first thing that I bought that made me want to do this video um, and show you guys what I've been buying recently. So the first thing I picked up from Primark was this dress. I mean, have you ever seen such a gorgeous dress in your life? I literally haven't. So yeah, as I said, this dress is from Primark. Um, I'm just obsessed with how this looks on. It is so beautifully made. Like, I cannot believe that this is Primark. When I saw it in the store, I literally was with my mum and I said, that dress is going to be so popular. I want to get it now because otherwise it will definitely sell out. And I then saw it the next week. Actually, my dad saw it first. The next week after I bought it, Lorraine Kelly was wearing it and it was in like the Daily Mail or something. So, if it's good enough for Lorraine Kelly, it's good enough for me, hun. So it's this um, white and blue sort of, is it like a zebra print? I think it's sort of like a zebra print dress. And I've just noticed I stained it. Well done, Carl. It needs to go in the wash. Um, with these beautiful like lemons at the bottom. It's just amazing. I can't get over the quality of this dress. So the material is really lovely and light. It's so nice. The length on me is perfect. For those of you who haven't seen my videos before or have forgotten, I am five foot. And this dress literally is the perfect length. It has these beautiful puffy sleeves. And let me tell you, these sleeves are so well made. There's a lining that basically makes them go puffy, almost like a netting inside and they just look so gorgeous on. And I think it just makes the dress look a lot more expensive. Like when I saw this dress, to me, it looked very like Tory Burch, that sort of style, just the colors and like the lemons with the like blue zebra print that kind of doesn't go, but it does go. Like you would never think to pair this color scheme with the lemons at the bottom, but it just works. So the only thing that I noticed about this when I put it on was that because the sleeves are so heavy, 
um, and I don't really have um, big shoulders. The sleeves were kind of falling off um, and it was really annoying me and obviously I wanted to keep it. So my mum very kindly um, sewed on for me two ribbons at the back to hold it together so that when I wear it I just tie this in a bow and these sleeves stay together and it worked an absolute treat. I actually can't remember how much this was, I think it was... I'm gonna say it was 20 pounds. I can't remember exactly, which is kind of annoying. I've totally forgotten. Hold on, let me check something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was 20 pounds, um, but worth every penny, every penny. To me, this looks like it's worth way more than 20 pounds. Oh, and I also got that in a size eight. And then because I loved that dress so much, I went back into Primark to see if they had anything else that was like similar. And I found literally the same dress, just with a different color scheme and short. So I was like, I have to get this dress as well. Like I just couldn't resist this whole, this whole like collection from Primark is just a 10 out of 10. It's very kind of safari vibes or maybe like tribal sort of look. I just love it so much. So I picked up this dress. So it looks very similar to the other one, but this one is mini as you can see. Um, and it has oranges at the bottom and it's like a dark blue and white um, pattern. Again, with the gorgeous puffy sleeves. And um, this one actually has a square neck. The other one was a little bit of a sweetheart. Um, the shape of it is slightly different. It's a bit more like baby doll style. It kind of like puffs out a bit more as the other one was kind of straight down. And this one actually has a bow at the back. I've done a terrible bow, sorry. Um, but it does a bow at the back, um, which I love. And there's a slight gap um, in the back where the bow is. And I just love it, it's so cute. I also got this in a size eight and this one was 15 pounds. I've pretty much seen these um, these dresses in every Primark that I've been into and they seem to have quite a lot of sizes. So if you can find them, definitely get your hands on one because they're just amazing and you won't regret it. Okay, so I feel like I may as well stick to Primark whilst I'm already in the Primark bag. So this, um, this next uh, outfit is actually a co-ord and my mum actually found this. I actually did not find this myself. She found it for me, brought it home and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so nice. And I kept it, um, I haven't worn it yet. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is the skirt. Um, it's this like black um, mini skirt with like a white embroidery pattern and I just think it looks, again, really expensive. Like this to me just doesn't look like a Primark skirt at all. And it goes with the matching top, which looks like this. Um, it's like a little crop top with like these little frilly sleeves and it's just so cute. Um, and I just think this is such a cute co-ord set. Like, Go on Primark, I just feel like they're really smashing it at the moment. I got both in a size eight. The top was 11 pounds and the short shorts, the skirt was 13 um, pounds. So it's really, really good value for money. And I have tried it on and I love how it looks. Um, but I will say I probably would have sized up in the skirt. The top, absolutely fine, a perfect eight. Um, yeah, but the skirt was a little snug, um, which you might see in the try on clip, but I just think they look so cute together. I love this co-ord and I'm really happy she found that. Hold on, I'm really thirsty. And the last thing I picked up from Primark was actually a bag. And I found this cute little straw bag. And I just thought this was so cute. And I feel like I'm gonna take this on holiday with me um, because I am going away. And it just looks so nice. Like it's quite big on the inside. If I just take that out, it has a long strap as well as the, obviously the little handle strap. Um, I love the gold hardware and it's actually like really nicely made. Like it's thick, it feels quite sturdy. Obviously it has the little, um, like the little buckle at the front. And I just thought this was so cute. And this is the sort of thing where it could be from anywhere. Like this could be from like Mango, could be from Zara. Like it could have been from literally anywhere. Um, and I just really liked it and it's very flat. So I will pack it so easily. It won't take up any space. I can even put like maybe underwear or something in it when I pack and um, to like stuff it out a bit. And I've like saved space. And I just think it's so cute and it will go with literally every single dress. 
and like outfit that I have. I just think this is so cute and I've really loved it. And for £10, I mean, you can't really go wrong. Like I don't, I just think it's so cute. I just think it's so cute and I love it. So now I think I'm gonna move on to things I got from ASOS. So the first thing I got from ASOS is probably the most expensive thing I have here actually. Um, I invested it in a, another pair of trainers. I love trainers so much. They are literally my pride and joy. I'm only really comfortable in trainers. Obviously, like if I'm on holiday, of course I'll wear sandals. But even when I buy sandals, they have to be so comfortable um, and soft on the inside. Like I can't wear really, really flat shoes. I can't wear anything with like sharp like straps that like dig in. I don't like anything like that. Trainers are like my pride and joy. I love them so much. I'm always comfortable. They're the only thing I can walk in without getting backache. And I just think these are gorgeous. I have been wanting to get my hands on the New Balance 327s for ages since they came out. And I bought them for my mum for, for her birthday uh, earlier this year. And I was so jealous and I wanted a pair. And I realised you can't get them anywhere. Like they sold out so quickly. You couldn't get them in any size on any website. It was ridiculous. I don't know why there was such a hype. But there was, we all know how hypes work. One person has something, everyone wants it. And I don't usually consider myself someone that like follows the crowd, but I have to say, I was really jealous every time I saw these on someone because I just think they're such nice trainers. I've worn them already multiple times. They're so comfortable as I knew they would be. Super soft. This is my first pair of New Balance trainers and I absolutely love them. So these were such a great purchase. And these weren't cheap. I think they were £80 um, and I got them for 76 There was like a little sale. I mean, it's like not that, <laughs> I didn't get that much off. But do you know what? I feel like trainers are like the one thing that I actually don't really mind investing in. Trainers and bags. <laughs> and to be honest, they were worth the money. I know that I'm going to have my price per wear with these because they're just so comfortable, go with so much and I do really like them. And staying on the subject of shoes, I have another pair of shoes to show you that I got from ASOS, and it's these. Um, so as you can see, they're these like black, chunky, quilted, like dad sandals. Um, these are all the hype at the minute, I think because of the Chanel ones, everyone just like absolutely loves that, that look. And yeah, th this is like definitely the year for dad sandals. And like ugly shoes in general, like Crocs and like all these like chunky shoes that people used to hate. Everyone loves them now. And I always used to love chunky shoes. I was the first person in my primary school to wear Doc Martens. Just saying. I absolutely love these sandals and these were such a great purchase. As I said before, I'm really fussy with shoes. I honestly find most sandals uncomfortable every single year I really struggle every single summer to find a pair of sandals that I like I'm really sorry if you can hear my dog barking you probably can't but I can he's barking super loudly because I think someone's at the door I will say that I have tried and tested these I, I have walked in them I took them away with me because I had like a mini um like a mini holiday a couple months ago and they're just they're so good. They're so comfortable. They are so cheap. So these are from Aldo on ASOS and they were £35, which is so cheap for a good quality pair of sandals. Obviously they're not leather, they're faux leather. I have really small narrow feet and they felt so great. Like they didn't feel too wide or anything like that. Um, probably because of the Velcro. Um, and the fact that you can kind of tighten them as much as you wish. But I'm so impressed with them, honestly, so impressed. And for £35, if you're looking for a good pair of like chunky, durable um, sandals, I definitely, definitely recommend. And sticking with ASOS, the next thing I picked up, oh my gosh, I love so much. And I have been looking for one of these for so long i cannot tell you and when i found it i was like <gasps> like i put it in my basket and bought it like straight away i didn't even like think twice so i bought this gorgeous khaki oversized blazer um so this is what they would call like a dad blazer like an oversized dad blazer um gosh dads are really in season this year dad sandals dad blazers 
so it's the most beautiful colour. It's khaki, I'd say, but it's like it's like khaki grey. It's not like green, um, but it is slightly greener than grey, if that makes any sense. Um, I love it. It's um, I think it's part linen. It's that like very lightweight, like kind of crunchy, you know, like thin, crunchy material that creases really easily. Um, but it's still got enough shape and structure as like a normal like blazer and I oh it's just it's just perfection I cannot tell you how long I've wanted a blazer like this so it's got very square shoulders you might not even be able to see it that well for me holding it up the sleeves were a little bit long so my mum actually did alter them for me I just have the best mum she's like part mum part seamstress um and she did such a good job too like you wouldn't even know where she did it she did such a good job so yeah the sleeves were way too long they were like hanging below my hands finding a blazer that's oversized enough but doesn't like make you look ridiculous like puss and boots sort of vibe you know like you've you're like six years old and you've just tried on your dad's blazer that's just not cute um it's really hard to find a blazer that is like that happy medium and this is that there's so many ways you can style this. I just love it so much. I'm so happy with it. I got it in a size eight. It was from the brand Naked, um, which I actually think is a really gorgeous um, brand. I've seen quite a lot of their stuff and I've loved a lot of it. It was 58 pounds, which don't get me wrong, is not cheap by any stretch. But if I'm honest, I do think that this blazer is worth it. Um, the quality of it, the structure, everything about it and me being so petite and finding a blazer that is just so perfectly fitted is really difficult so I'm really really happy I got it and I know I'm going to wear it so much um in the cooler weather so I'm super excited about it okay so this next item is really kind of boring but also very me like this is like a true representation of the sort of thing I'm like wearing 99% of the time when I'm not like going out or filming. Um, I got some joggers. I must have maybe 30 pairs of joggers and probably more, more hoodies, to be honest. I love loungewear. If like you followed me from the beginning or if you're friends with me, you will know my addiction to buying like loungewear is a little bit ridiculous and kind of ill um but um we move so i picked up a pair of joggers i've actually needed a new pair um i definitely don't need a new pair but i've wanted a new pair so i got a pair from hollister um they look like this um they are the softest joggers i cannot tell you how soft and like fluffy they are they just feel amazing they're super soft on the inside like that lovely um like fleece lining um oh, they're just perfect they're so baggy which i love but they're like the perfect amount of bagginess if that's even a thing i get excited about like the bagginess of joggers they have like the little like hollister label I'm so happy they don't like do the bird as much anymore it just wasn't like in anymore i think this is so much cooler vibes um I've got these in a size small. These are called the adjustable rise joggers. They're just so gorgeous. And I also, I'm gonna get the black pair as well. When I came home with them, I was like, I should have got the black pair too. So then I went online, found the black pair. My most worn items are obviously my comfy clothes. So to me, it's basically like, basically cost me nothing. Price per wear gets it down to like zero. So it's a win-win. So those joggers in Hollister were £35 um, and I've just looked online and the black ones are on sale for £22. So I feel like that's basically just making me buy them. I feel like I'd be doing a Hollister a favour, do you know what I mean? Oh, I forgot to show you something else from ASOS because um, I had it in a separate bag. Okay, so I also picked up from ASOS a bikini. For holiday i do have already quite a few bikinis but i do like mixing up every year um it's really nice to buy a new bikini i was looking on asos for a bikini saw this and actually i went out of my comfort zone it comes in a bag like this so it says like mode of minx on on the front um and it has like this look cute little like padlock heart at the front um and yeah i have to say i went out of my comfort zone with this bikini because I never buy triangle like uh, bikini tops, you know, when they're like a triangular shape. 
I've never ever found them flattering, ever. And I've got to 25 and never bought one. And I saw this and I was like, do you know what? I'm, I feel like I just had like a calling to give it a go. It's this white bikini top. Um, and it has these gorgeous like little jewels at the top. Um, and then it has the string tie at the back and the tie on the neck. This is the first thing that drew me to it because I, I get really annoyed and I'm sure other girls find this too when bikinis come like bras almost like they do a certain size and that is the size whereas like sorry I'm not explaining that well what I mean is I want to have a big enough cup to cover my whole boob I don't want to be like hanging out but then sometimes when you have to get a bigger cup then these straps automatically are longer because they assume it's a bigger girl wearing it where in actual fact, there's big girls with small boobs and small girls with big boobs and every sort of variation of bodies. And everyone deserves to have one that fits them. And I just think, I love it when brands actually think of women um, and the fact that someone might wanna have bigger cups but and then they can just tie this as tight as they want. And I fall into that category, like I, my boobs are too big for the really, really, like, itty-bitty, like, cups. Um, and then when I go bigger, yeah, I hate it when they have, like, a, like, a clasp at the back, so you can't adjust it. It just really makes no sense to me. So, yeah, I was so happy when I saw that this was not only tie at the neck, but tie around, around the, um, back as well. So I got mine in a size medium, um, so that I could have a bigger cup and it worked so well. I will obviously insert a picture of me wearing it I didn't really want to do like a try on clip because I felt a bit naked on the internet And I just am so impressed with the fit and the quality of it um, And it's padded by the way. There is nice padding inside So yeah, I'm really really happy with that and then the knickers are just like this So I got the knickers in an extra small and they're perfect Again, I only got the knickers in the smaller size because I like it when like the bum is tight. Um, I don't like it when it looks like saggy. It always makes me feel like I'm in a nappy. Um, and I could see that because they tied at the sides, if extra small was really tight, I can just loosen the sides. So that was my reasoning for this sizing and it worked so well. So I got a medium in the top and an extra small in the bottom. That just shows that it doesn't really matter what size you get. Um, it's kind of, it's a bit of a, a kind of a gamble really it's a bit of a lottery to see um what things are going to look like sometimes but i'm so happy that i chose the sizing that i did um it fits perfectly i'm so so happy with it and it wasn't a cheap bikini i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken it was 50 pounds for both but let me just double check yeah it was 25 at the top and 25 at the bottom half um so 50 pounds so it's not like a cheap bikini i mean it's up there with like Boo Avenue, Victoria's Secret, you know, and actually rightly so, to be honest, I think that this bikini actually deserves its place in like the kind of higher end pricing of bikinis. I think it's really, really great. I'm so happy. And then because I was on such a high with that bikini and how I felt in it and the fact that it was my first ever triangular bikini um, and I never thought I could wear them, I kind of had like this boost of confidence. So I ended up buying another bikini um, in the River Island sale. I was just literally walking around. I don't even know why I went in. I just kind of gravitated towards River Island. I don't always go in there, um, but they had a big sale on and I went in and found another bikini and I just thought it was so nice and I tried it on and I loved it, so I got it. Um, it looks like this. Um, you can't really see what it looks like like this. I'm not really doing it justice. Um, I'm not gonna put a picture of myself in it. It's a bit revealing, but I will put um, a picture of the model wearing it if I can find it. Um, but again, I just love it. So it obviously has these triangular bits at the top and then the, these strings go around here. This again, very like Love Island style, I feel like, um, with like the bits that wrap around the, the stomach. Um, and obviously it has this like hoop in the middle, so cute. And again, because it has these straps, both sides, it has the straps um, at the top and it has the straps here. So when you when I put it on, I can do it as tight as I want. 
again, I got this in a size 12. I'm a size eight and this is a 12 and the cups were just about big enough to like cover everything. So again, if you can get your hands on a bikini, if you have the same problem that I do where like sizing seems a bit unfair, um, definitely try and get bikinis that have strings both at the top and around the chest. I'm probably gonna get a really dodgy tan line from the hoop, but I don't really mind. Um, I just love this like gorgeous like snake print with, um, they have like little uh, crystals and it just looks so cute. Um, and I've never bought a bikini like this. Again, like it's just so out of my comfort zone, but life begins when you step out of your comfort zone. I know we're only talking about bikinis, but bikinis are just the first step. And this was reduced from £25 to £15. Um, I didn't like the knickers because, as I said, I try and elongate my um, middle section as much as possible. And the knickers were high-waisted, which I hate. They look horrible on me. All I do is get a roll at the top, like between my like bra and the underwear, and it looks awful. Um, especially look terrible from behind. It like makes my bum look really like not good. It was just not good. So I have gone online and bought a pair from Pull and Bear of just plain brown, uh, like little bikini bottoms, like a nice, like thin pair. Again, I'll insert a clip if I can find the clip of the ones I bought. I just thought any brown knickers will go perfectly. Um, so I just got them as well. Okay, and then the last thing I picked up was from New Look. I popped into the store um, when I was with my mum and I found these, which I cannot, believe how nice these are firstly the color is just perfection i love this like nudie pinky color i already have a pair similar to this in my cupboard um, and i love them and they go with everything but i really wanted a pair of summer wedges and these wedges are the perfect height you know the sort of wedge where they're not too high and they're not too low like they're just perfect because they're balanced out with the with the platform here so i don't feel like my feet are like like this they kind of feel level um which i love um they're really comfortable i tried them on in the store and i was really really happy um with how they felt um they're lovely and light so they'll pack really easily for holiday as well they won't take up um a lot of the weight um allowance and i love how they kind of look like valentino sort of style with the like gold studs and like the nude color very very valentino-esque love the like espadrill ropey bit at the bottom and all in all, just so happy with them. They were £40, which I think is quite actually expensive for new look shoes, but they also deserve it because they're really, really comfortable and really well made. And I just absolutely love them. So yeah, I couldn't recommend these highly enough. And they also had them in black. Okay, guys, and that is everything that I have picked up recently. I know there was like a big variety of stuff, um, which is why I was so excited to show you guys. And all of this stuff is stuff that I've actually bought for myself and kept and will use and love. And I'm so, so happy with everything that I've picked up recently. I feel like the shops have so much stuff at the moment. Um, so it's definitely worth going and having a look, especially now that the sales are on. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I've bought recently and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.